Hello and welcome to June's edition of What We Want. If you didn't notice, I did not post a video last month because I ran out of time, but today I finally had the time to throw everything together. So let's go ahead and get started. So our topic today is something that really already exists out on the market. It is uh, a portable desktop or a, por a portable workstation, whatever you want to call it by. But it's basically a desktop computer with monitor strapped to it, which can be carried around to different locations. And some of you may be thinking this idea is a bit silly, but I'm, I'm going to convince to you guys that this is actually a great concept and is a convenience to many people and I'm gonna tell you guys how I came up with this concept um, when I get further into this video so let's go ahead and get started in front of you you can see my design for a portable workstation and this was actually a big pain because blender took forever to render this animation um, it actually took me about a week um, to finally finish rendering every single frame and then after that I had to throw everything together. So you can see why I had such an issue with time constraints and getting this video ready to uh, move out in time. But you can see my concept right in front of you. I have three monitors attached to a basically just a desktop computer case with a handle. Now a portable workstation really can't have any batteries attached to it. Now you're saying, well, 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 laptops have batteries attached to them. Well, to power a powerful workstation, let's say you have, I don't know, uh, three GTX Titan uh, Zs inside your, your workstation with, with two Xeon processors. Well, in order to power that, you're going to need an inverter, first of all. And then you're going to need um, a lead-acid battery. And that's adding a good 50 pounds onto your workstation. So after that, it's no longer portable. I'm sorry. Yeah, so once you need your own personal cart to carry around your portable desktop computer, it's not really portable anymore. Because now with the battery inverter and the desktop itself, it's probably weighing in around 100 pounds, I want to say. And who wants to deal with that? Now that that's out of the way, let me go ahead and answer another question that you're probably going to have about this concept. Why do I even need this? Why can't I just use a laptop? Well, I'm sorry guys, there are times where a laptop just isn't going to cut it. Um, for example, as I said earlier, this animation took a week to render. Yes, a week. Um, I'm using a GTX 750 Ti, um, I have a uh, AMD FX 6300 processor, um, but mainly I'm just using the uh, GPU for the rendering. And let's say I'm working for some sort of animation company, or maybe I'm a freelancer and I have to go on a business trip. Well, I'm sorry, but that puny little uh, laptop GPU just isn't going to cut it for uh, intensive rendering such as, as this. I mean, you need something powerful. As I said earlier, three GTX Titans would be great. Can I afford that? No. But someone that actually works in the field um, and is making money off this stuff that that is going to boost their profits it's going to cut down the render time so they're going to be able to make more money and it's worth paying for three gtx titans um and a desktop computer so what happens when they need to go on a business trip well I mean, they can't really get anything done now that's that's the truth they can't do anything on their little tiny puny desktop gpus and that's where this idea comes in they can they can take this just like a br briefcase or any sort of uh you know luggage suitcase that kind of thing and they can take it with them to their hotel or wherever they're staying at and actually get something done. And not only is this a great idea for just professionals, it's also something that I believe gamers would, would really appreciate. I mean, because when you go over, let's say your friends invite you over, you need to go to like a LAN party or something. You have to haul all of your monitors, your desktop, your mouse and keyboard. There's no, there's no way to fit it in one nice package. I mean, even if your case is portable, you still have to haul along all the monitors and all the cables and everything else. With something like this, you could fit a pretty insane graphics card, um, you know, an i7, uh, a lot of RAM into this portable desktop computer. And it's, it can still be small enough um, to be convenient to take to a LAN party. I mean, obviously, the design that I have up here is pretty large. This is like my corporate design, okay? But a gaming design, let's, let's just say um, our gaming design, we could cut it down to a case small, like, let's just say mini ITX form factor. I mean, that would be absolutely amazing. And you could just fit, I don't know, one one or two monitors on a swivel arm. Um, obviously, I didn't animate that here because, once again, this took a week to render. Um, but, once again, this concept is not only something that professionals can use. And all of the concepts that I went online and saw and all the ones that are actually on the market are purely just for professional use. 
So with that in mind, I would really like to see some companies getting on this and actually creating portable gaming desktop computers. And maybe, maybe I missed it. Maybe there's something already out on the market. And of course, you guys can post a link to that in the comments section. I do not care um, if you contradict me. I would actually love to see um, what else is out there in terms of portable gaming machines. Now it's time to give credit where credit is due. I actually started researching this concept after I watched a video by the tech guru. He's actually um, one of my subscribers and he might even be watching right now. But he did this thing where he took an old um, Dell, I think it was an old ATX Dell motherboard from a Dell Optiplex, something like that. And he actually put it inside a briefcase and I thought that was that was really cool and I'm going to put the link to the video in the video description. Um, but it was a really neat uh, little portable computer. Obviously he didn't have monitors or anything on it yet because that takes a lot of work to get um, all of that figured out. But he started the basis for this episode. It, it was a really neat idea and I just thought I had to had to get it out there and do some research on it. So he really founded the basis for this episode of What We Want. And with that in mind, I think all of you really need to go and check out his concept because it is awesome. So I think that's really going to be about it for this installment of What We Want. I want to hear what you guys think, so go ahead and post your thoughts in the comments section. I would really love to see links to concepts similar to this and anything else you guys can find about this topic. So go ahead and post away. Thanks for watching. Of course, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like this video. And I will see you in the next installment of What We Want. And just something real quick for you guys, if you're still listening. Um, I do have a free project or, or a project involving some free stuff going on on my website. So go ahead and check that out. It's actually, I want to turn it into an archive of free animations. Um, but I'm actually stuck up on a couple of animations because it's just taking so long. <laughs> Remember, it all comes down to rendering with stuff like this. The rendering time just takes forever. Um, so I do have a couple in 3D intros up right now. So if you want, I'll put the link in the description and you guys can go ahead and check it out. Keep in mind, it's not done yet. It's nowhere near complete. And if uh, anyone's interested in helping me out with that, go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. It's going to be a completely open, royalty-free archive of 3D animations, um, intros, outros. Of course, all the stuff from what we want is up there. So if you want to use that in one of your videos, you can. I have no problem with it. Um, and so if anyone wants to go ahead and post a comment and help me out with that, we can uh, get in touch. And I would really appreciate it because I cannot do this on my own. So once again, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for listening. And I will see you in the next installment of What We Want.